Okay, so they got Abyss, I got Abyss. Hope they don't have Aftershock. They got their Abyss first, but I got some stuff in play. My Abyss is Prismatic, so I'll be making Prismatic units. They'll just be making regular champions. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Auction Abyss. It's going to be our first of three auction decks. We just got done playing the Saltwater Scourge Labs, and as y'all probably know, I could sit there and play those all day. But we got some ranked to get back to. We got some donation decks to get to, and we actually had three different auction decks for today. So it's kind of like a, a mini champion spotlight night. You know, we didn't have the champion spotlight night this week because of the new lab coming out um, that we played last night, Wednesday night. And so next week, we'll get back to our champion spotlight night where we roll the dice, pick a random champion, and play all decks with that champion. Today's kind of like that though, because like I said, we're going to be playing three different auction decks, all different regions. This one's with Freljord with the Howling Abyss. We're also going to have um, Noxus and Riven and Targon and Taric for our other ones. So let's see, basically what we want to do, now this is um, not particularly likely to happen, but what we want to do is level up our auction, with the leveled up auction, we put in the Warlord's Horde, have that countdown go all the way down, and eventually then get this Shield of the Sentinels. So grant your champions everywhere spell shield and plus two, plus two. We have that to go along with the Howling Abyss, that each round we create a random level two champion. So then the level two champions that we'll create will also have spell shield and they'll have plus two, plus two. Sounds really powerful. That's going to be the goal. Hopefully we can do that. We also have Siphoning Strike in here. That is another way to grant our allied champions everywhere plus two, plus two. And besides that, um, you know, we just got some, some you know, good cards kind of everywhere. Lots of ways to target our own uh, units because targeting our own units is what will count down these warlords, the palace and the horde. Um, and that's kind of about it. Bruiser can create some lucky finds. We're playing, you know, Bruisers over Ruin Runners, basically, so we can create some lucky finds. Lucky finds will be able to target our, our allies. You know, more countdown going there. So let's give it a try. Auction Abyss. Looks a lot, looks like a lot of fun. We're doing our three uh, decks over in ranked. We'll play five games with each one. Looks like I have the Misfortune Guns for the player icon. I didn't even realize I said that. Uh, we were looking at the player icon after winning the Misfortune Lab just a little bit ago. Okay, got to get back into playing Ranked, not Labs. Siver Z. I, I don't know. I could I could see keeping the Ruthless Predator. I like just all this vulnerable stuff though, and then to go along with like the Ruin Runner at the top end. Right, I'm gonna lead Good with auction. Don't look the other way. Off we go! go down. Yeah, I could definitely see wanting Predator in this matchup, but I already had like multiple other we vulnerable things. So they didn't challenge the auction, so I will just take the damage. Gotta find a gift for an acting, right, Arda? In and out. I go, I go. Careful. This one's a fighter. That would be three, four, five. If it's made of sand, I can ride it. Because I'm assuming I'm playing both Quicksand and Troll Chant this round. The dragon lives. Just 
It's not exactly sure how I'm going about this. We just do this to start with. So me taking a good amount of damage. Could bait out like the grant something double like grant this like double attack and we quick sand. I wish I didn't play the rock hopper though and would have just passed and kept that extra man available, then I'd be able to play the Sivir afterwards and then Rune Runner next round. Or even just Rune Runner afterwards and Sivir next round. not have the ability to level up this palace. And if I open attack, it's not lethal. We love it when they run. Villains beware. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't have this 11 damage going first. There's a lifesteal barrier. That's a mistake by me. That's a mistake by me. Righteously reclaiming. So they have Ghost I lose. They have to be a little worried about Quicksand, you would think. But they may also not have anything to do about Quicksand. Gonna find a gift for an acting, right, Arda? I will trade that. Get rid of two of those things. Wrap them up tight. We'll get our legs in. Hmm, that's five. Seen tombs, towns, and everything in between. Only two cards. Okay, cool. Alright, that was a kind of a weird game. But, you know, I gotta get used to playing ranked again now after doing labs all yesterday and earlier. Alright, we're playing against a Marilia Azir. So, I'm gonna just mulligan everything, I guess. I could see keeping like an elixir of iron or a troll chant because they're just super cheap for protection. But obviously we need to find our units and everything. Uh, but we do, you do need cheap cards. Check out these moves. Rock Hopper not great in this matchup because of sand soldiers. Like they attack, then the sand soldier just gets the vulnerable. Okay, they would have had to trade Sparring Student. Yeah, I guess they did not want to. The Emperor commands. The land obeys. What a shame for you. Yeah. That's the problem, though. Good Dune Keeper, but at least we're making them use defensive Dune Keeper. I must become the leader they need. Heroes go hungry. Nothing per 
us at all. Boo. This means I don't get to block the Aurelia now. Play the bruiser. The bruiser does a good job blocking these. Like if they if they blade dance, then we get to just create lucky finds, and each lucky find is good to block. Yeah, let's play this. Let's play this bruiser. Each lucky find is gonna be good for the sivir, and it'll help level up this sivir faster. Try to get sivir to have overwhelm. Yeah, unfortunately, this is just not the good, the best rock hopper matchup with the with the blade dances, and yeah, they take takes away the vulnerable, and then the three one doesn't get to block the blade dances. It's just all unfortunate. Oh, you're in for it. Wow, alright. This'll look great on my mantle. Guess overwhelm. Tough would have been the best thing to hit. Use a lot of cards, they don't have that many cards left. Will endure. We Ionians always remember those who came before us. Overwhelm's helping me race. Arise! Charima is sand and sky, past and present. The order is given. Your funeral. Good game. Ah, evil never plays fair. Thing. All right, Jarvan Chen. Barrier is going to be amazing against us. So we kind of saw the first one. Yeah, there's a lot of lot of things in that deck that's that's really unfair. If you can't if you can't kill their their champions, like especially you know, yeah, you can't kill their champions or their sparring student. Like they're just gonna. Kill you know, you don't have a chance. You have to have removal. Those rock hoppers really underperformed in that matchup. I imagine we're gonna be very bad against barrier. Getting, getting punished for just keeping a slow hand because I was thinking like they're gonna be a slow a slow deck also. Yeah, this start. We're not taking it. We're taking it back. Take everything. I see you there. Not reinforcements. Two worlds, one balance. Thank you. 
Please kill Shen. Yeah, so whatever they have in their hand is that they used all of that. Um, like all those re cost reductions are going to be something that's better. It's something that, that's better than Shen, something that's more expensive than Shen. That is not a very good use of the Spirit's Refuge. Don't heal the Nexus at all. We'll go with the tough. Our Warlord's Palace almost done. I still do create the lucky strike. With me. Move along, There's nothing for you here. Oh, you're 29 out of 30. You already got spell shield. Maybe I should have blocked it. Blocked there for the 29 out of 30. Auction. From absolution. I do not break rules, I bend them slightly. Oh man, I'd love to siphoning strike. I doubt siphoning strike works though. Highly doubt it. In and out. I don't want to risk my Sivir dying to a barrier. You gotta assume they... Because I think they have Repost, first of all, for how they play like the Bright Steel Protector into my 5-5. Five five. I, I do think they have a Repost. If Auction dies, that's okay. Wow. Ours is but to do and die. I'm a woman of principle. Mine is to get paid. That gives me hope for this Concerted Strike, I think. This was the green, green blade lookout card, by the way, with the Jarvan. Yeah, they're passing. Just like deny is a thing too. Yeah, still mana for repost or deny. You gotta be scared of this thing, Ricochet. It could kill Jarvan. Yep, there's deny. Okay. Now we got deny out of their hand. Warlord Horde's down to two. Providence, guide me. <gasps> All right, we get Warlord Horde. I guess we look of Iron You Doesn't really matter, does it? Probably not. All right, GGs. So basically, both champions were going to be lethal. Uh, we we have the we put the six four. We have my four three challenge the six four at the end, and have both my challenge my champions be lethal. If your your champion spell gets denied, sorry, so yes, if your champion spell gets denied, then you do not have a sivir shuffle back into your deck. And so that that's a way to just get a, a champion um, out of the game, basically. We'll keep one rock hoppa. Send the other back. Never loses because Zoe makes the 
Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't mind playing three of this. <laughs> yeah, we, we aren't... We are not drawing the Howling Abyss. Um, I wouldn't mind having a third copy. Would you look at this place? Always good having those. Watch me. I understand playing two because yeah, you, you really don't want to draw a second. You want to draw the first one, but I understand that you don't want to draw a second one. This is a tough sequence here. I want to play Vagabond and I want to play Hunter. Tough sequence here. I think I'm just going to go with the Vagabond into Hunter and no Sivir, basically. So we get the Warlord's Palace start counting down instead of getting Sivir in play. Where this is less less good against the Ionia spells, like they concuss a palm, Will of Ionia, that kind of stuff to stop to protect Zoe. For more Eye of the Dragons. What is gained when we return malevolence? Oh, why it be? Blur! What? what did I say? I told you not to bring that thing. For real? Get them more draglings. What do we got here? What? Eighteen out of thirty for leveling up Sivir. We each oh man, they have all three of their eye of the dragons. It's not bad. Is the rust on a dull blade? Oh no! They grabbed an equinox. That's Business as usual. quite unfortunate. Take it down, my team. The dragon spirit awakens. Beware. Yeah, I'd say that they probably got the dragon spirit. That sounds about right. Seven. Just know this isn't going to kill Lee Sin because they're just going to play two spells and give the Lee Sin barrier and stuff. Maybe they don't have a one mana spell. Oh, but they, you're right. It's Dragon's Rage anyway. Alright, so we can get the Bruiser back. How does one ever kill a Lee Sin? Like, is it ever possible? 
The Absolver would be great with leveled up Sipper. I also kind of like this Grappling Hook. Give me just another, like I can try to Grappling Hook and Siphoning Strike to kill Lee Sin. All these, okay, basically all three of these cards are pretty good. I don't know, like, I don't know which one would be the best for us to try to win this game, but they're all three pretty the good. Hour. You think I should take in the hook? Force them into playing two spells. Maybe that's you know less spells to continue to protect this Lee Sin. Great draw with the three sisters right there. Conflict is all in the mind. Deep Meditation is just the best possible card. You get two more spells. That's just the best possible card, obviously. <laughs> then they get that. Oh, uh, yeah, that's that's what we call the best possible. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Doesn't the Dragon's Rage just kill the Spell Shield? So why am I not... Oh, because it has a barrier. Twenty damage to them. Took care of the guards, boss. Good. Now let me do my thing. What is gained when you decode malevolence? Honor is the rust on a dull blade. If I can do twenty damage to them. Yeah, this was a, a, a an absolutely perfect hand for our opponent. They had round one Zoe, and then all three Eye of the Dragons, and then Lee Sin with all the spells they had. This is just an absolutely perfect hand. So no no shame losing to it. Like it it can't it really cannot get any better than this. And they had the Equinox that they hit with the Zoe. Yeah, it cannot get any better than this. It's not going to be 20 damage, and we're going to lose this game, but it's going to be something. Act free of doubt. Ready yourself. Time is money. 
Two and two. Absolutely perfect hands. Now it's personal. All right, this is our first matchup where Howling Abyss can be pretty good. Like, the other ones, the matchups are just too fast for Howling Abyss. There we go. Awesome. But this could definitely be a matchup for Howling Abyss. We shall take it. We got the backup auction for whenever the first one dies to Mystic Shot. Merciless Hunter can help fight Ezreal. These old eyes still see far and clear. Don't want to die? Don't see terrible things. Alright, get the countdown started. The sentry is going to play good defense. If it's made of sand, I, can write. I wish we had protection in our hand, like Elixir of Iron Troll Champ kind of stuff, but... We got all threats, so that's not bad either. In and out. I really want to pass. I really want to pass here with them passing also. Ready the torches. <laughs> Alert the villain. Now they just play Ezreal and then have Mystic Shot. The thing is like I wouldn't stop like if they would So this obviously was like the best case scenario, but I wouldn't stop if they'd be able to just play new Ezreal here anyway. That worked out incredibly well for me. I know what I'm worth. So I'm expecting like avalanches and stuff, which is why I'm not playing this other rock hopper. Fortunately, we keep drawing more rock hoppers. Would much rather just have spells that help protect stuff. Yeah, that this is really quite bad. Me, no, I guess I'll we'll throw one out here. Me. Okay, so they got Abyss. I got Abyss. Hope they don't have Aftershock. They got their Abyss first, but I got some stuff in play. My Abyss is Prismatic, so I'll be making Prismatic units. They'll just be making regular champions. They have to have more, like, Death Ray type cards, or Thermogenic Beam or Death Ray. They have a couple of times stopped here at this one mana. So you gotta figure they have another one cost. Removal spell, like, maybe a one mana deal, one damage, something. A Vagabond would have been perfect to have last round. But this round, I'm, I'm of course, playing Howling Abyss, getting that in place as soon as possible. Yes! They just use up their aftershock. They just use up their aftershock. Alright, Warlord's Horde countdown started. We really want that to give my... Uh, give my champions that plus two, plus two spell shield. Predict draw card. I... I think I want a sandstone, sandstone's charger. That thing. It's not like they're gonna have more daybreak stuff, but sandstone charger does what five damage to it. Uh, maybe we just predict draw card. The absolver, and bruiser. Oh sure, take your time. I love to be kept waiting. And even ride Find negation would maybe be awesome to to grab. I get the guards, Bob gets the goods. Blah, blah. So we're even on champions now in hand. Because they, they've gotten two champions from theirs, I've only gotten one. But they've played the, the Leona, so like, 
just in hand were even. Oh no. I was planning on using my lucky find on that auction. I guess we shall use the lucky find over here on this thing. Yeah, would they do that? Uh, I don't get to lucky find. Small Nasus. Vice stands for violence. Small Nasus. It's gonna be four mana for Frostbite. A little further. Bingo. Hit him where it hurts. It does nine damage to me. Down to seven. I mean, it's probably where we have to start being a little worried about our life total and everything. Scores to settle, crooks to kill. You know how it is. Save your worlds. We speak with blades. This may not go the best for me. Keep counting this thing down. Back at the table. I surprisingly en enough do not have very many ways to target my own allies to help out this auction. Passing would let me kill their Vi and their Leona. No, they're not gonna let that happen. Yeah, I feel like I have to have this three sisters for the for the Vi. All the glitters. I don't know what they grabbed with the with the three sisters. None of these options are good. Steal from the rich and give to the us. The thing I don't like about playing Nasus is it opens up the red card spell shield very easily next round. They have out championed me for sure. Time to surrender. With Just Twisted Fate by Leona. I would trade those for sure for you know, Quinn, Fiora. All three of their champions were better than either one of my two. I guess we had... Nasus is pretty good too, though, but the Twisted Fate really does a good job against the Nasus. Okay, well, Fury was their other card. That makes sense. Ezreal's a good champion. But man, we... We just keep on drawing units. <laughs> Our deck has 17 spells. And we keep drawing units. And we don't need any more units. Eyes open. Artist gonna make a meal of them. All right, Nasher, have a good day at work. You like it in two more than Frostbite? I long for a worthy opponent. I'm a people person. Last to that Rome buys me a new sail. This will be the of my mantle. 
Cool eye bat. You like it? I mean, shut up and fight! Yeah, I guess this is over. I can't protect against the Vi doing the damage. Yeah, they got me. GG, Twisted Fate Vi. GG's. Get the come up in soon enough. Okay, we got out of Bist. Really, it was just, we just don't have spells, right? Like, that whole time, we just had all those units that just didn't matter. And we needed some spells. Like, we needed just, a, you know, a couple more spells to target things to get rid of that Warlord's Horde and stuff like that. And just spells to help even be removal or punk or save our things like that was really unfortunate all right so there we go that was our auction abyss deck it's difficult to pull off because you need to have you know you need to have your auction you need to have a lot of things target in order to um get your uh you know warlord's horde and then shield of the sentinels but then you also need to play like a longer game and and stay alive and stuff for howling abyss bruiser kind of underperformed to be honest my opponents just had like good answers to it quite a bit. I, I think it maybe performed a little worse than what Ruin Runner could have, probably. Yeah, I don't know. It was kind of it was kind of tough with that. We had we had two opponents that had just absolutely amazing hands with the the two Ionia decks. The Zoe Lee Sin hand was absurd, and then the Aurelia Zier, which Aurelia Zier can just be absurd if you don't have removal. Elixir of Iron didn't really look that good. This could be another thing that you know could maybe be more. Um, you know, three sisters, quicksands, like all that kind of, all that kind of stuff that could give you some more interaction, more, maybe more ruthless predators, something like that. I don't know. There's only, we can only have one more <laughs> ruthless predator. Anyway. All right. That's our first of three auction decks today. Let's go ahead and go on to the next ones. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. Feel free to leave those comments and, and, uh, if you got any suggestions for playing auction and howling abyss together, feel free to put them in, in the chat. Um, because, you know, like, our deck, like, we want, like, we had, like, so much, hmm, there's so many aggressive tools with this deck, and, like, we're trying to be real aggressive, but then we also need to be, but then Howling Abyss is, like, a control card, so it's kind of weird putting them together and having them work. Anyway, that's going to be it here, though, for Auction Abyss. So, as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.